Well, I have just received in the mail this little box here. This is a ketone sensor. You wear it as a patch on your arm and you wear it for 14 days and it is designed to measure the ketones in your body. This uh, item was sent to me by the company called uh, CBO and uh, they have kindly sent this to me free of charge. I'm not being paid by them for this uh, video, but uh, they've sent me this uh, unit to try out and uh, to see what I think of it. So I thought the best way to do that is uh, on video with you guys um, part of this, and uh, I'm keen to have a, have a look at it. But it, it measures ketones. Now, I've, I've heard of continuous glucose monitors, that measure the glucose in your blood, but this one measures ketones. Now, what's the difference, you might ask? So first of all, maybe just ask the question, what is a ketone? And what does it do in your body? How do we get them? And so forth. A ketone is a special molecule in the body that uh, your body makes when it needs an alternative fuel source to glucose, which is essentially sugar. You see, normally the body would run on glucose that it gets from carbohydrates in your diet and your body burns glucose, but a far more effective fuel for your body is fat. Either the fat that's stored in your body or the fat that you are consuming in your daily diet. So on the carnivore diet, we've pretty much cut out carbs completely. So we're cutting out that source of glucose. So the body is going to look for an alternative fuel source uh, namely the fat that we've just talked about. So if there's that shortage of glucose in your body, the, uh, the liver will begin to uh, break down stored fat in your body and turn it into energy. And this is what you want, particularly if you want to lose some weight. This is why it becomes a real issue for those people seeking to lose weight, the ketones in the body. Ketones are made as part of this process, the liver produces ketones, um, and a tiny bit of acetone. Now these ketones provide a brand new energy source for your body. They're going to fuel your heart and your brain and your muscles. And they're going to give you a steadier energy flow than glucose will without those highs and lows and sugar crashes that you get when, when you're on a sugar or carb based diet. So in short, ketones are a clean fat burning fuel that your body makes from fat. Like switching from gasoline in your car over to a premium fuel source. Your body is switching fuel. So that's what the ketones are in your body. They are, uh, they, and they can be measured. Uh, people measure them sometimes with a finger prick uh, to get some blood. Some people um, measure, uh, put a strip into their into uh, uh, their, their urine to, to measure it that way. And I, I believe also they can measure them with, with uh, your breath. But the most accurate way is always blood. Now, this is a patch that goes on your arm that is going to continuously monitor this. So you don't have to keep pricking your finger or, or doing any of those things. It does it automatically and it links to, your, to an app on your phone so that you can see your progress. And how the different things that you do, the different dietary things that you do, uh, maybe fasting, maybe exercise, what those sort of things do to your number of ketones in, in your body. So you get a kind of a, a running total that you can access on your phone. So this is the part that actually will go onto your, onto your arm. And this is the applicator you use to put it on. You've got a, a swab of uh, alcohol to clean your arm beforehand. And then once it's on there and all, all set, you put a, a cover over the top, which they provide, which makes the whole thing uh, waterproof. And so I'm told you can wear it in the shower okay. I go in cold plunge and sauna, so I had to check that out to make sure I could still do those things with this patch. But from what I read and what I hear, that's quite okay to do that. Also in the box, you get the... Um, the starter guide, as you often get with a, a new product, and uh, it gives you simple directions on here. There's a, uh, a QR code to download the app on your phone that you need to uh, read the uh, output from this, and I think it links by Bluetooth. And then there's another QR code with a more detailed manual that you can have a look at on your phone and read through, as I've as I've done here. So. Uh, Plenty of instruction. I believe there's also uh, videos on YouTube you might find by CBO 
that uh, will explain the process if you want to actually see somebody doing it. Other than me, who uh, doesn't always know what they're doing, but I'm going to have a go at putting this thing on. Well, it's now three days later, and I did manage to get that patch onto my arm. And uh, here is a picture of it there. Uh, the round plastic part is the, uh, the unit itself, and then there's a cover that goes over that makes it uh, waterproof and keeps it, keeps it clean. I have had uh, a couple of showers. I've had two cold plungers and two saunas. So, so far, it's held up pretty well. So three days later, how have I gotten on with this thing? Well, it measures my ketones and it does that. It even updates it every five minutes to an app on your phone. And you can see uh, on, a, you know, you can see in real time what the impact on your ketones is as you do different activities through the day. So how did I get on? When I first plugged it in, it was, uh, I think, early afternoon and uh, my level came up you wait for about an hour for it to warm up and then it started and it will run continuously for two weeks but my starting level was about 0.5 now i wasn't sure what that meant so i had to do a little bit of research on what your ketone level should be they say 0.5 to about one you're in light ketosis and uh, anything above that is uh is more optimal but uh, it shouldn't go too high so the optimal level seemed to be um, somewhere around about um, 0.5 up to about 1.5 or maybe 2 and this is especially relevant for people like me who are over 50 I'm well over 50 and uh, on a carnivore diet or a low carb diet I'm on carnivore myself and who are uh, concerned about uh, their weight and their health and so that's what I've been seeking. Now, I've been watching my graph over three days and I've noticed that there is a daily pattern that seems to occur. I have a, uh, two meals a day. I have breakfast, uh, which is egg and bacon, about nine o'clock in the morning. And then sometime around 3 p.m. in the afternoon, I have my second meal, which is mostly a good fatty piece of meat and uh, not much else. So that's what I eat in a day. Now, my, my levels stay pretty low pretty much around the 0.5 up to 1 um, for, for most of the day. When they do go up is after my second meal, after I have that, uh, like yesterday I had a ribeye and I noticed, um, you know, pretty much immediately my ketones started to go right up after a fatty piece of meat. So uh, uh, that told me something. But from then on, it's a, it's a steady decline. And particularly overnight, uh, my ketone production drops not quite, but almost to nothing. Uh, I might get 0.1 or 0.2. And of course, they, t they talk about something called the dawn effect, where I think both your ketones <coughs> and your blood sugar drops uh, quite dramatically early in the morning, and they've done some research on why that is the case. And that's certainly been my story. It does drop quite low. But then by, you know, by the time I finish breakfast, it's generally up around the 0.5 again, and the pattern, pattern continues. So that's just a, a little snippet of my experience. Now, supposing you're somebody who wants to increase your ketone production, uh, there's four things that they say are going to help increase your ketones. And the first is a period of fasting. Obviously, when you're fasting, the body's going to make ketones because it's not getting any other fuel source. So that greatly increases ketone production. The next thing would be a low carb or a carnivore diet such as I am on. You see, it's the carbs that help produce the, the, the glucose that in turn become sugar and fuel for your body. And they're the, they're the things that you're trying to get rid of, that, that, that glucose for fuel. You're trying to transition to, to burning fat rather than glucose or sugar for your energy. Um, then uh, another, another uh, factor that might increase your uh, ketone production is exercise. Now, I haven't noticed this. I exercise quite a bit in the early mornings and haven't noticed any immediate effect, but the research suggests that exercise can increase your ketone production. And the last one I've mentioned here is uh, getting some good sleep and, uh, you know, taking care of stress levels, doing something to modify your stress and to, to uh, you know, 
to, to get your stress levels down and to make sure that you're getting good circadian rhythm and sleep at night. That's valuable for so many reasons. Now, look, they're just four of the top reasons that you might increase ketones. I'm not saying they're the only four, but that's probably a good place to start. But on the other hand, what if you want to reduce ketones for some reason? Well, there's four things that will reduce your ketone level in your body, your ketone production in your body. The first one is carbs, of course, because carbs ultimately become glucose and you know we, we, we know that pretty well now. The second one would be the insulin spikes that the carbs cause, because if you're on a high carb diet, your, your insulin level is gonna go up and down like this, and that leads to all sorts of problems in the body. That's why you've gotta get off carbs. Um, the third one is a sedentary lifestyle. You know, there's so much damage we do to ourselves by not moving. You've got to get out and move, otherwise it's going to affect not just your ketone production, but so many other health issues in your life. You've got to keep moving. And again, the uh, the last one there is, is um, if you're stressed and you're not getting enough sleep, the opposite to what I said a moment ago, then your ketone production is going to drop. So if I could recap this, um, I would say, what is a CKM going to do for you? It's going to measure your ketones um, on a, on a real-time basis, updated every five minutes to your phone. Look, this thing is, you know, I, I didn't say this, but it's so easy to wear, it's comfortable. I didn't even feel the slightest prick when it went in. Um, it hasn't bothered me at all, even if I sleep on my side, uh, it's been quite easy to use. So it's going to monitor my ketones. It's going to enable me to, to observe um, the different things that I do in life and what impact that has on my ketone production. You'll be able to do something and then immediately have a look and see what that did to your ketone production. You're getting results that fast and that regular and you don't have to prick your finger multiple times a day, which is a good thing, I think. So look, I will leave a link to this product down in the description of the video. Have a look there. You do get a discount off the regular price if you use that link. And uh, have a look and, and see what you think. I'd love to hear your comments about your experience with monitors and ketones and uh, health generally. So leave, leave a comment uh, in, in below this video. Please like and subscribe to this video. Oh, uh, look, if you could join the channel. Um, Joining, joining the channel uh, gives you so many benefits. You get every video that I make a day earlier than everybody else. You also get members own videos and you get, this is probably the best benefit of all, you get everything on my website absolutely free when other people have got to pay for it. And there is loads of resources there that I spent hours and hours putting together. So have a look at that. Consider joining our channel, it really helps us. But anyway, look, um, keep watching. I'll, I'll do an update on this video in the next few days or next week. And until then, uh, you know, keep telling your story, keep taking responsibility for your health and God bless.